What's up geometry? Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Math with Mullins. Today we're going to be looking at lesson 8.1, similar polygons. So we'll be able to use similarity statements, find corresponding links in similar polygons, find the perimeters, and be also to determine if polygons are similar. First thing we want to know are what are all those corresponding parts? So in the diagram below it says triangle ABC is similar to DEF, and you can write ABC is similar to DEF as this right here. It looks like a little squiggly so this little squiggly here represents similar okay a similarity transformation preserves angle measurements that just means all angles will still remain the same so angles will be congruent a similarity transformation also enlarges or reduces side lengths by a scale factor of k so the corresponding side lengths are going to be proportional which is why we can focus on writing proportions so this one we're going to try together. It says in the diagram, RST is similar to XYZ. Find the scale factor of RST to XYZ. So the first thing we can do is just take a side from the smaller triangle, because it looks like that would be the new one, and then correspond it with the old side. So 12 over 20 both match. And then I would just reduce those by 4, and I can get 3 fifths. So my scale factor is 3 fifths. For letter B, list all pairs of congruent angles. So angle R is congruent to angle X. Angle T is congruent to angle Z. And then angle S is congruent to angle Y. Um, another way you can do that is the stack method, RST over XYZ, and it'll easily show you what angles match with what. The last one says, write the ratios of the corresponding side lengths in a statement of proportionality. So this one just means we're going to try to write them as proportional beings. So we can maybe start with XY side corresponds to RS, which will be proportional to ZY and TS, and that will be proportional to RT. Sorry, we got to start with that smaller one, XZ <coughs> over RT. Okay. So that would be your statement of proportionality. Let's go ahead and try some of these. Um, the first one, find the value of x. So notice that these are similar. And if they're similar, then that means I can write a proportion. x looks like it's corresponding to, or that's kl, so it's going to correspond to hm. And then maybe I pick two other sides. So maybe I can say x over 12. I'm going to put boxes around these so you can see that they match. And then I just have to pick two other corresponding sides that are already showing proportional reasonings. So maybe I go from 15 to 10. You could have used 27 over 18, and that would still work. To solve these, we would just cross multiply. 12 times 15 is 180, and then divide 180 by 10. We're going to get x equals 18. Okay. And this diagram on the next page, UVW is similar to QRS. Find the length of the median ST. So again, this is going to be a proportional reasoning. So what I would do is, I don't know what ST is here, so I'm going to say that is X. And right now, X is matching with 12. So X over 12. And then I can say maybe 36 matches with 16. So 36 over 16, and then solving that proportion again. 12 times 36 is 432, and then we're going to divide that by 16, and we get 27. So that median would be 27. We're going to switch to our perimeter um, of similar polygons theorem. This is going to be on your worksheet that I gave you. If two polygons are similar, then the ratio of their perimeters is equal to the ratio of their corresponding side lengths. So remember we find perimeter just by adding up all the outer edges and those ratios will remain the same of their side lengths. Okay, so we're going to try that here. It says your neighbor has decided to enlarge his garden. The garden is rectangular with six feet in length, width six and length 15. So I'm going to draw a picture. The new garden will be similar to the original one, but will have a length of 35. Find the perimeter of the original garden and the enlarged garden. So the original garden would be 6 plus 6 and 15 plus 15. So that would be 42 for the original perimeter. <coughs> and 
And then what I would need to do here is use a proportion to solve for x to help me with the new one. So I can say maybe um, 6 over x is equal to 15 over 35. Cross multiply, 35 times 6 is 210. Divide that by 15. I'm going to get 14, so x is equal to 14. So my new perimeter would be 14 plus 14 plus 35 plus 35 or 70 plus 28, that's going to give me 98. So 98 is my new perimeter for that. Okay. When we talk about areas, so switching gears here, if two polygons are similar, then the ratio of their areas is equal to the squares of the ratio of their corresponding side lengths. So if my ratio is 2 to 3 for my regular side lengths, the area would be the square of that. So that would be 2 times 2 and 3 times 3, which would be 4 over 9. Okay, So we're going to try that on the next page. It says, in the diagram, GHJK is similar to LMNP. Find the area of LMNP. If we know the area of GHJK is 84 meters, then that means this is a 7 by 12. Okay. Um, what we maybe could do is first decide where our, where could some of my missing side lengths be. Um, I do know that my area, my missing area would be x out of this 84. So this is big versus small. And I know that my big side length is 21 and my small side length is 7. And what I can do is just square these to figure out what my big area should be. Okay, So that would end up being still x out of 84, but then 21 squared is 441, and 7 squared is 49. Then I can use this proportion after I've squared it to figure out what my missing area is. So cross multiplying first, 84 times 441 is a big number, 37,000. 44, and then I'm going to divide that by 49. I'm going to get 756. So this area would be 756 meters squared. So again, I just took what I knew about the two given side lengths. I guess I didn't really even need that 12 there. Then I squared them and set them equal to one missing area versus the area that I'm given. Okay. The last one we have together, decide whether A, B, C, D, and K, L, Q, R, P are similar. Explain your reasoning. Um, what I would say here is A, B, C, D, E goes this way. So all these side lengths. And then K, L, Q, R, P. They look like they would have proportional side lengths. So 12 to 8 matches 9 to 6, which matches 6 to 4 which matches 9 to 6, which matches 8 to 12, or 12 to 8 again. The only thing that is missing are the angles. So we can say the sides have same proportionality. But we aren't sure about the angles. Remember, all angles have to be congruent, okay? So that's just one thing you have to keep in mind, proportional sides and congruent angles, okay? That'll wrap it up today for us for Lesson 8.1 on similar polygons. Thank you so much for tuning in. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you at all, and we will catch you next time, Geometry. Have a great day.